So this is Photosizer. We now have two versions of Photosizer available, a standard edition and a professional edition. Um, in the standard edition you get all of the existing resizing features you got in previous versions. In the professional version, which you can buy from our website, you get a number of extended features such as watermarking, color adjustment, rounded corners, and output to zip file. And today we're just going to run through a few of those features so that you can see how they work and what the professional version gives you. So to begin with, we'll add our photos. So I've just got some standard Windows background images here. So I'll just add those. So they appear in the left hand side. Um, we'll keep the resize settings the same. So we've got 25% and we can see how that looks using the preview window here. So you can see the different images there and how they look. Um, we'll keep all the other settings the same for now. Um, so we'll start with watermark. So watermark is a new feature that allows you to add text watermarks and image watermarks to your photos. So we'll just show, to begin with, uh, a text watermark. So you just enable that option there and you can type some text in. So we'll just put a copyright message on our photo and you see it's updating in the preview there. Um, we can set different formatting options, so we can say we want it to be bold and maybe italic. Also we could have put underline there as well. We can change the font and the size of the font. We can change the colour, so we can make it a green if we want. Um, we can also apply an outline colour to it, so we can, um, we can put a sort of surrounding colour around that text. Um, we can change the opacity setting to make it more transparent. So we can say, okay, I want it 50% and it'll make it more transparent. We can rotate that text. So I can just apply a rotation here and it would rotate it by that, the, that degree. Um, we can also change the position it, it appears in the photo. So we've got, we've got a number of settings here. I'm going to apply it into the bottom right hand corner. Um, so that's the text watermarking um, and as you see just cycling through the previews it will appear on each of the photos. So we can also apply an image watermark so just choose the image tab here and select that enable image watermark option and we can choose an image I'll just choose this logo here we've got and again that appears on the preview um, so what we can do again same settings we can make it more transparent and we can change the position if we want to so we'll just put it on the top right hand corner the top left hand corner sorry and then that's our watermark done so what we'll do is we'll just um, choose to uh, resize those now so we'll just uh, adjust the resize setting so I will change the folder that we will put those in so we'll just make a new folder in the pictures folder called resized with watermark and I'll just select that folder so then we'll choose we'll keep the same file name so we'll just click start and then that will start resizing our photos and then it's done. So let's just close that and we'll just go to that folder so you can see. See what it's done. And we have our photos here. We'll just open one of those to see what, what's happened. And you can see it's put a text watermark in the corner and it's put the image watermark in the, the top left corner as well. So let's just close those down. So that's the watermark feature. Um, we can also change the color adjustment. 
So we can change, make uh, our photos brighter if we want, if they're dark. We can change the contrast levels. Also reset those back. Uh, we can change the hues, so it changes the, the actual color there, you can see. And saturation levels. So you've got a number of settings you can use here. Um, we won't actually resize those at the moment, so just demonstrate those. And you can also apply rounded corners. So this is a useful feature that allows you just to apply that extra uh, level of effect to your photos. If you want to use them on websites or just make them look a bit nicer. So what we can do is we'll just change the background color to white so you can see it on this preview. Um, let's just change, take the watermarks off so it's clear what's going on. So we've got our basic photo here and right now it's just set to be a standard corners, no rounded corners. We can choose uh, different options here. So preset options, we can have all of the corners rounded and you can see on the preview there all of the corners get a rounded corner, corner setting applied. Um, we can apply uh, the rounded corners to to just two corners and or just one corner and so you see it changes it changes how it looks there um, so we'll just make it a setting like that and again we, what we'll do is we we'll, we will 